Hi, thank you for joining me today. Welcome back to Be Wowed by April Lee. I am April Lee. I am here to show you some of my finished objects. I know that most people do these on like Whip Wednesdays, what you're working on Wednesdays, um, you know, whatever. I know um, Nova Gnome Creations had started uh, Yarn Fairy Fridays where we are getting together a bunch of us uh, content creators as well as a bunch of our subscribers who are joining in and we are helping a fellow YouTuber, uh, Crystal from Chronically Crocheting. She is wanting to be a yarn fairy. In case you're new here, I'll just briefly explain. She's wanting to be a yarn fairy for her granddaughter's trunk or treat in October. However, Crystal suffers from way more health issues than I can even imagine me going through. I, I give it all to her. She's, she is definitely a trooper. I don't know what I would do if I had to do that, uh, to go through what she's going through. But so her, her vision is she's going to dress up as a yarn fairy. Okay. That's simple. She has, you know, she found her costume. That's not a problem, but instead of handing out candy, she would like to hand out little amigurumis. Well, obviously, you know, if any of you suffer from any kind of health issues, you know, some days are good, some days are bad. There is no way she's going to have enough time or energy um, to be able to make the amount that she needs. So um, once again, our friend Llama Mama Kayla jumped up and said, hey, I want to make her vision come true. I want to make her dream come true. So she made a video about us helping out. I saw that video and I jumped up and I made a video. My friend Jane from Scraptastic Yarns, she jumped up and she made a video. Nova Gnome jumped up and made a video. And I'm sure there's many other people that are joining in that are our subscribers or maybe other YouTube channels. But we are going to make Crystal's vision come true. There's no doubt about it. I am so excited because I can't wait to see how many she gets. This is going to be so amazing and incredible. I'm just so excited. I can't wait to see it. And I just can't wait to hear back from her when she, you know, comes back from the trunk or treat and lets us know how the little kids reacted. Because, you know, I know kids like candy and stuff, but I'm sure parents will be so happy and so thrilled to see their kids getting something like this. This is something that they can keep forever. I mean, it may be something silly, uh, might be something small, but it's something that they receive that somebody put their love and their heart into. So with that being said, I want to show you one of the objects that I have done, actually I have three whips. I mentioned in my previous video that I only had the mandala blanket and two other whips. I actually have three other whips plus my mandala blanket. So I will show you those later. One I just started today. One I started a day or two ago and I just put it down because I got frustrated and I'll tell you why. Um, and I have a couple other finished objects that I'm going to keep for myself. Um, and then there is one that I made for a friend who I am going to be giving it away to. Um, they don't know this yet, but um, I'm going to be sending it to them very soon. Probably going to ruin the surprise when I show it, but it's all right. Um but so my first finished object, and this was something that I found when I was watching Caroline for the love of crochet. She had tested a pattern that was from, oh my gosh, I can't remember the name of the person, Classy Homemade. C-L-A-S-S-I -S -S homemade, I believe. I will link that pattern below. It's in her Etsy shop. Um, and it's for a moosh, M-O-O-S-H. And it is a really different type of pattern. And I, as soon as I saw it, I fell in love with it. And I wanted to show you what my moosh looks like. Now, I got this idea with putting the strawberry on from Caroline. 
I thought it was a great idea, a little bit of an embellishment for it. And then I added something different that Caroline didn't add to it and that wasn't in the pattern. So here is my moosh. And this is what's so cool about the moosh. Isn't that cool? You just, it, the head pops up. It's so cool. I love it. And this really wasn't that hard. Now I did make a mistake on the eye, on the one eye. So this one is, you know, like flattened out, which I think could have been done a little bit different too. This one, if you can see, is kind of like bunched up. Um, so I, I really think that the eyes could be done differently. And if I do make another one, which I probably will in the future, just not right now, I will definitely focus more on the eyes to get that done. Here is the strawberry, and I just went out and found a strawberry applique and then started with how they did it, and I just kind of did my own thing up here, added the white, and then this is what I added to the pattern that I just thought went really cute with this, this, um, this creation, was I added these little curly cues at the very top, and I thought they were really cute. Really, the pattern is just this little piece right there but i added these on there and i just thought two of them one short one long was perfect and then i have my moosh isn't that adorable i just think that's the most adorable thing ever Moosh. all right so that's finished object number one finished object number two and this is going to um crystal from chronically crocheting for her thing and I know it's a little bit larger than I wanted it to and I even used the 3.5 uh, hook 3.5 or 3.75 no I used a clover 3.75 because I couldn't find any of my four hook four millimeter hooks which I guess I'm kind of glad I didn't um, but look at this Norwal and this was from Oh my gosh, I am so unprepared. I want to say this is stringy ding ding. I'm not 100% sure. I will find the pattern and I will post the link below. But when I was making this, I ran out of this blue yarn. So I found the closest yarn that I had to it. Believe it or not, I cannot find any baby blue yarn. So this was baby blue and Caron Simply Soft. What was that that just fell? Um, so this is from here down is Caron Simply Soft and then these are Caron Simply Soft. So it's a little bit of a multicolor but you really can't or I mean you can see it but it really doesn't like it I just think it looks like it's in the pattern you know. So that is my Norwal. And I just thought he was the cutest thing. There's his little mouth. And like I said, I think this is stringy ding ding, but don't quote me. I will find the pattern before I post this video and I will put it in the description box below. All right. So that one is going to Crystal. This one is definitely, I know, is a stringy ding ding pattern. And this is going to be a chocolate Labrador. And this is obviously one of my unfinished projects. So it's one of my whips. And um, it was just something that I started and then lost interest in. But I'm going to, I think I'm going to pick it up this weekend and get it finished. Because it's not really that much to do. All right. So that's unfinished project number one. I just started this today. And this is a Stringy Ding Ding project. This is one of her very first prod, uh, patterns, she said. And she went back and she actually made it into a PDF and then posted it. Um, so it is available for free on her website. Or if you are a Ding Dong, uh, which I haven't said that in a while, um, it is where you pay a you pay six dollars and every every month, and then you get. Um, at least one to two of her 
um, patterns, I think one or two, maybe, no, I think maybe four, because I think she does one every week. Um, I can't remember again, like I said, so much going on in my brain right now, I just can't remember, but um, you do get free patterns if you sign up every one of her free patterns that's on her free website, you can get as a download. So it's really worth it. I mean, especially if you like patterns that are downloaded and you like to print them out, this is perfect for you. It's definitely worth it. Uh, Olive from Stringy Ding Ding does a fantastic job with her videos. I mean, she will tell you where to place the eyes, where to place the nose. Like this one, I actually use one of my little I'm um, a groomy noses. And this is the very first time I used one. So she'll tell you, put a, you know, um, like a piece of yarn where the eyes in, in like, so I think this one was in, um, in stitch 11, in the 11th stitch and the 18th stitch. And then, so as you're going around, you get to the 10th stitch, you take a piece of different color yarn. And I usually use this color yarn. I have a bunch of this. It's a glow worm, I think. Yeah. Glow worm. Um, I have a couple of those pieces cut and in into my, my little notions. This is my catch all it has everything in it. I'll go over that here too in a little bit. Um, but I put a little string piece of yarn in there and then I do the 11th stitch and then go over to the 17th stitch, put another string in there, do, make the 18th. And then she does that again for the, the nose too. So it makes it so easy. Now, let me tell you this year gave me so many problems. Um, I tried to count like the stitches over from the eye and I finally did it. But after my third time, I had to rip it out twice. Um, but I finally got the ears on. So now I just need to start with the body. This is called her sushi cat. I know it's called sushi, but I think it's just the sushi cat. So I'm going to finish this. And then this one is going to go to crystal as well. I'm really trying to keep these small so she doesn't have to have such a big bag. But then I think, well, trunk or tree, you're not going to be walking around so she can have an extra bag that she can refill her bag and, you know, put them in. So I just want to make things that kids would love to have and that they would keep for, you know, a very long time, maybe even forever into their adulthood. I know I would keep it, but that's just me. So anyhow, babbling on, this is uh, my whip number two, technically three if you want to count the blanket. Whip number four is another stringy ding ding pattern. And this is basically a ladybug, um, but I made it in purple and you place these dots. These are safety eyes. You place the dots on the pattern or on the, you know, on the shell. What I didn't take into consideration because basically what I need to do next time. And I screwed this up this, the last time too, because I made another one of these is I need to not put these spots on until I have the bottom made. And this is why. So you see where the bottom has the legs that come out. All right. So these are built into the pattern. All right. So she tells you, you know, crochet this many and then single, you know, chain out five. And then you basically slip stitch back, crochet, slip stitch, a cut, like two or three more, do it again to slip stitch two or three more, and then you do it again. And that's all great. So basically I wanted this to be the butt because it has the yarn coming out of it. So this would be the face. I did this exact same thing. The last time I made this, I put a dot right there. The face is going to go like right here and it's going to cover up that dot. So what I'm probably going to do is just, you know, leave it go like that. Maybe hand make some, some dots on here. Um, I obviously can't put any more safety eyes in there cause I have it closed up, but that's what I need to do. So once I get this face on, this one is going to be off and then I have to put the middle down through here 
So it's going to leave basically just this eye and this eye on there, and there's not going to be any up in here. So yeah, that's my work in progress number four, and it's on timeout because I screwed it up, and I'm mad. I'm mad at myself for it. So I keep those in this cute little basket. I got this basket from the Dollar Tree. And I keep my glue gun in here because some of the safety eyes I have found that I have bought in the past, some of them do not stay on very well. And I don't trust them to stay on when it comes to children. So what I've been doing, and I found out Kayla, Mom, Mama, Mama Kayla, you know, um, glue gun, uh, glue, hot glue queen takes hot glue gun and she hot glues the back of them as well. So before I, like as soon as I put them on, I'll flip the piece inside out and then I will hot glue over the backs of each one of them, let that um, set up. And then I reflip it back in and continue with the, the project. So that's what I've been doing for these projects. I did it for this one just to make sure that, you know, the eyes don't come out. And then another finished object that I made, and I'm thinking I'm going to probably make another one of these because I fell in love with this one. And this is a stringy ding ding project or pattern. Isn't this cute as heck? It has some straight and then some of these. And it was just so much fun to do. And I just thought it came out really, really cute. I added the string on top of here. I just thought that was cute. But I think I'm going to make another one of these and send it along for Crystal. But I just thought that was so cute. Or I might send this one and just make myself another one. Maybe make myself a pink and purple one. I don't know. We'll see. But that's another one of my objects. And then my very last finished object that I have right now, and this pattern comes from, let me think, um, it is the Cuddly Cat Crochet. And I can't think of her name off the bat. I will link her in the description box below. I am really sorry I forgot your name. Um, but I will link the video or her video. I'm sorry. I will link her YouTube channel and her Etsy shop in the YouTube uh, or in my description box below. So you can um, see it. Um, this one is this little guy. Um, I'm not very happy with his eyes. The pattern shows the eyes much better. Now I followed the pattern, the right size hook. Um, this is not like simply saw, so it's not like on the lighter side. It's a normal thicker four weight yarn. So I don't know why the eyes did not come out as big as they should have, but, um, I just think he's still adorable. His eyes are a little off-centered, but he's an alien, so, you know, whatever. And then I added a little dot of white, and I think that was in her pattern. It wasn't mentioned that I remember, um, but I added it because it looked like it was in the picture in the pattern, but I just think it brings out his eyes anyhow. And then you just make the little nose and the little mouth. These are a little softer than I would really prefer. I would like rather them to be a little bit stiffer, but I don't remember how to do that right now. So, and then he does have little fingers. If you can see little off odd fingers. And I'm telling you this pattern, if you are a newbie at Emma Groomy, this pattern you will have no problem doing. Um, it is, you basically make one leg and then you start the other and then she'll explain to you how to basically attach these 
and then once you attach them you continue to shut you know go all the way around you go all the way up into the head and then the only other things that you sew on are the 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 hands and let me tell you these fingers are so easy to make i was surprised um the way she describes them it is and the way she makes them and forms them are so easy so it's super easy and then you make the little antennas which again is super easy and then you make the eyes and you sew on the nose and the mouth and the nose and the mouth if you say i'm not good at sewing on faces this is super easy i mean you do a across you know I, I proportioned it across I did just straight across there and then I did down from one line down just a little bit to make the V and then back up simple and it made this cute little alien look how cute he is so that is my last finished object and I just knocked down my pencil or my pen so um yeah so that is everything for this video i hope you enjoyed my finished projects as well as my whips that i have going on and thank you so much to all my new subscribers i truly appreciate you joining us for all this fun um as i'm getting better here i am actually going to be starting doing some diys so if it's something that is in your wheelhouse of interest, please join me in my upcoming videos for that. I am looking forward to um, filming some videos on how I'm doing my, um, my DIYs. It's going to be something of a new, um, a new, uh, my brain fog is horrible. Um, like a new thing for me to do. So I'm learning how to, I still got to learn how to do voiceovers, how to pop pictures into videos, um, how to speed up my videos as I'm talking, like, you know, doing voiceovers, uh, like some of the other DIY channels that I see. So I am going to be trying to learn that here in the meanwhile. Um, so I hope you all stick around with me and I can't wait to start sharing some DIYs with you. Until next time, guys, I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and thank you so much for joining me. Take care and love you.